All right, let's say you want to edit a table within the software, any table. I'm going to use the uh, engine efficiency table as an example, but this could be any table that exists in the software. There's a number of ways to make changes to it. Firstly, you could freehand a number in, like 66, and press Enter. Now the value has changed to 66. I could, uh, I could uh, use Page Up and move the value up with the Page Up key or Page Down to move it down. Um, I can do a scalar offset on it. I can add, subtract, multiply, or divide. If I press any one of those keys, it'll bring up this little context editor that tells you how to do it. So, for example, if we wanted to multiply this number by 2, we would press the asterisk and then 2 and then enter, and you could see that it doubles the size of the number. Now we can do uh, divide 2 and enter, and it cuts it right back in half. We can uh, highlight a section using... Um, you can use the mouse actually and highlight a section of the table and you can multiply that whole section like let's say times two uh, and then enter or divide by two and then enter to put it back. Uh, you can highlight a section using the shift key and the arrow keys on the keyboard. We'll go up and then we can go to the right. Uh, obviously we can go to the left or we can go down uh, and you can do those same math operations on that section of the table. You can also grab a section of the table and use page up or use page down to move that whole section of the table if you want. If you want to change the axes values on the table, that's the X and Y axis values, you can press the A key and it'll bring up the axis editor. At this point, you can go freehand the numbers in here and type in uh, a different number than the number you have. Or you can add new numbers if there's empty rows. Uh, you simply type those in, like say 13,000, and press enter. Down here, there's a check mark that says interpolate efficiency on OK. What that means is it'll adjust the table value based on the new numbers that you've typed in. If you don't want that to happen, so for example, let's say you wanted to replace 13,000 or 12,000 with 15,000, you have to type 15,000 correctly first. Uh, and if I don't interpolate, then it's not going to try to adjust the values in that table. It'll just stretch the table to match the new numbers. So you can see what happens if I don't interpolate. I get some random zero value in the 15,000 column. Right? Sometimes that's useful, sometimes it's not. Let's say I want to delete that column, 15,000, <clears> go highlight it. I can remove. I'm going to let it interpolate now. And it'll have adjusted the values at 13,000 based on the difference between 13,000 and 15,000.